welcome to part two of Apple Day. Now, what we're going to make now is something that is very partially called tart to tan. But instead, I just call it Apple Upside Down. And we put some almonds in as well to make it like really posh and nice. Woo, fancy. Isn't that lovely? Right, we're going to make the pastry first. It's ever so easy. You just need some butter. Some ground almonds. Oh, I said it was posh. Oh, look at that. Nuts, nuts, they're nuts. So if you don't like nuts or you're allergic to nuts, obviously don't use these. All right, little pinch of salt. I'm going to put that in with me. Flour. All right, that's just plain flour. And that's my salt there. Did you see me hesitate? They're not labeled, so I don't know what's going on. Right, so I'm now going to put my flour into my butter. All right. And we've got all of these ingredients in a little recipe for you. So that's the ground almonds going in and a little bit of sugar. That's it. So now this butter, this, uh, sorry, this pastry, I misspoke myself there. Uh, this pastry, I'm going to start this off by chopping the butter up a little bit. All right. Into the flour like this. Chop, chop, chop. Because it's quite fatty, this pastry. Very, you know, lovely, delicious, lots of lovely butter. Mm -mm. Right, so I've got that chopped up a little bit, can you see? Now I'm going to do this. Now this is called crumbing, crumbing, crumbing. That's right. And it's where you crumble, see where we got that from? Crumble, that's it, your butter, that's it, into your flour, your ground almonds, your sugar and your salt. Now you do that very roughly. You're not trying to make tiny fine breadcrumb things like you do with short crust pastry, because this is almost like a bit of a flakier pastry. So we'd like lumps of butter. Ooh, lumps of butter, I love butter. Lumps of butter, can't you tell? Lumps of butter. Lumps of butter, goes very well with apples, you see. There we go, lumps of butter in your pastry. Don't get too worried about making it all fine, all right? So still got lumps of butter. Now, normally with pastry, what we do is we add cold water to bring it all together. The thing with pastry is don't overhandle it. So you're just going to do this all in a sort of flash. We're not going to use cold water. We're using egg yolks. Oh, this is ever so rich. This is a special for maybe a Sunday dinner or something like that. So I'm going to scoosh them in there. Then what I'm going to do is wiggle it all round and then start to just squeeze it together like that with my hands. That's it, lovely. And then try and bring that together. Now, if I find that I do think it's not really sticking very well, and I need a little bit of cold water. There's nothing against getting a bit of cold water and getting that involved as well. I'll just go and get some. I'll be back in a minute. Oh, here I am. I want a bit of cold water. Yay! Oh, right, come back again. Here I am back again. So a tiny little bit like that. All right. And you only need a bit to make it all come together. Right, can you see now? It's coming to... Oh, oh skidding about all over. The Whee! We got all excited there, didn't we? Right, it's getting together. Here we are. But you don't want to keep squeezing it and overhanging it because you'll end up with tough pastry. Nobody likes tough pastry, do they? They like puff pastry. That's right. Puff, not tough. There we go. That's our motto. Right, so that'll do. Don't worry, it's not all, you know, perfect. That's fine. Right. I've got to get some cling film. Now, I don't like cling film normally. Single use plastic's not our favourite thing, is it? Hang on. I can't find the end. I can't find the end. There we go. There's no end. There we are. I think I put pastry into the cling film thing, but never mind. There. Right. Got a bit of cling film. I get me bits of pastry there, like that. And I'm popping it in the cling film. And then what I'm going to do is roll that out a little bit more. It's very resistant, my cling film thing. As you can see, we've prepped this immensely. There we go. And I'm going to roll it up and then I'm going to pop it in the fridge. Actually, I'll tell you what I'm going to do also. I scrape these bits off my fingers because I'd like to get them into my pastry as well. There we go. All right, that's it. Are you all right out there? Is this making gripping television? I hope so. Right, here we go. So that, like that, that little ball, like that, there. Oh, look at this mess. It's not like that in Nigella's kitchen, is it? Right, that can go in the fridge for half an hour. All right, so here's half an hour going really fast. Ready, one, two, three. 
Oh, brrr, this has been in the fridge for half an hour. Brrr, brrr. Okay, so it's nice and cool. So what we're going to do now is get it out. And in a minute, we're going to roll it out, but I'm going to leave that there for now. But yeah, just a minute. I'll get rid of these because I have the tiniest workspace in the world. Right. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to make the apple bit, all right? So here we go. We need a pan on the stove. I also just need to wipe my hands up. Be one minute. Just don't be wiping your hands. All right. Oh, hope everybody's all right. Yes, jolly good. Right, let's oh, just give me a quick wash. Can't wash your hands too often nowadays, can you? There you go. Right, you can wipe. There we go. Oh, there we are. Right. Butter. More butter, I hear you say. Yes, more butter, I say. Need to that pan there. So, give that butter a little go. That's going to melt now. Mm. Butter does that, doesn't it? So we're going to melt that butter and then we're going to add some soft brown sugar there. All right? Some soft brown sugar is going to go into that and me apples that we've cut up. Now don't worry that they've gone a bit brown. They do that, don't they, apples? But we're going to wait a minute till we've made this kind of buttery, caramelly, kind of saucy, have you really going to get the thing here? All right? Now then. Just melting the butter. Are you unhappy with melting butter? Do you want to watch the butter melt for a bit? Calm down. Here we go. Oh, are you feeling calm? It's nice, isn't it? Just watch that for a minute. Oh, I won't let it burn. No, I can hear you saying, don't let it burn. That's it. Keep it nice temperature. That's it. Lovely. How are you feeling? All right. Has that calmed you down? Yes, yeah, calm me down. It. Don't go brown because that's a different thing. You can use brown butter, that's a different thing altogether. It's a different flavour. Oh, can you hear that? Can you hear that? Oh, is that lovely? Right, sugar. Let's get some sugar in there. Because it's not delicious enough. There we go. Of sugar and butter. Ooh, is everyone feeling nice and Saturday afternoon ish? Yeah, there we go. Oh, look at that. Oh, isn't that nice? Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. Oh, isn't that lovely? Oh, it's lovely. Right, I'm going to whack some apples in there. There we go. Whee! Right, so... And, there we go. We're just going to let them cook gently for a little bit in there. Right, meanwhile, back over here, action stations, we've got... A modified pie tin. Now you've probably got a nicer one than this, but we've made this ourselves because we like that, aren't we? So it's a bit of a pie tin there. And what I'm going to do now is roll out our pastry. Oh yes, there we go. Right. So, and don't worry if it's a bit crumbly. That's life, isn't it? There we go. It's all going to be delicious in the end. What I like to do, oh, as well, keep it moving. Always try and, sorry, see, look, this is what happens with these blooming bits of plastic, isn't it? I think if you're at home and you've got a nice plastic bag that you can wash and reuse, why don't you do that rather than this, which is just going to be a nuisance to the environment. Grrr, I'm disappointed with myself, to be honest. There we go. Well, I'm going to put it over there now because it's annoying me. Right, anyway, where was I? Right, here we go. Right, this is the pastry. Oh, I need a bit of flour. I wonder if, could I ask somebody to get me some flour? That would be great. Look at this. This is what happens, you know, in the TV, is that somebody rushes off and gets you some flour, don't they? And they come back. I'm just going to check the apples here, all right? Do you want to have a look? Here we go. Oh. Look at that. Isn't that lovely? Oh. Anyway, so I reach out my hand. Oh, this flower, look at that, brilliant. Right, I'm just going to put a bit of flour on there so we don't all get stuck all the time. That's it. Right, put a little bit on my rolling pin. There we go. And I'm going to carry on rolling. Now, I always was told to roll away from you and only roll in one direction. Not the band, no, just 
roll the pain through in one direction. That's right. So that's what I'll do. Now, I'm not sure why. So if anybody knows why I do it. Okay. Right, I think we're ready. What I'm going to do, I've got to get my apples. And you can do this all hunker munker, higgity jiggity, doesn't have to be pretty. You could spend hours lining it all up and making it beautiful, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to throw them in. There we are. Like this. There we go. French people are probably screaming at me now down the uh, internet, but never mind. That's all right. That's why I call it an upside down apple tart rather than a tart to town. Because it's Betty's version. Right, so, which is always a little bit more hunker hunker. Right, I'll be ready. We're going to put the pastry on. Look at that, that looks um, chaos. But never mind, that doesn't matter. We're going to pop it in the oven, all right? And it'll be delicious when it's done. All right, so we'll see it later, shall we? All right then, enjoy yourselves, get them apples out. All right, love you. Bye, 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 bye.